Ten. I also think more than pro probably any other player, you look for the early signs with Lynn and how he's striking the cue ball. Seventy. Four. A stunning pot once again, though, lost the cue ball, so that's probably end of break. Just about maybe hold for that other red, had to be dead weight. Yeah, I can understand the pink not reaching. Judge Trump, four. I think the general feeling amongst well, ourselves and boys in the studio and, and tonight, if he's going to eventually prevail, I mean, we'll see. The judge misses the Reds altogether. Foul. I miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan. His form has been a little in and out. Yeah, good decision. Well executed, looking for cover. He's not got it. In the extreme right hand red. Sometimes the balls dictate what sort of snooker is going to be played. Foul. Win this. Judge Trump, four. Back. Foul. Win this. <laughs> well, Judge Trump, close. four. Second time. Ball down in this corner and hope he doesn't leave one. Else, nothing else on there. Nothing else he could. One. Little switch of hands for the black. So he's in. It's been uh, Judge Trump, though, as ever, has uh, scored really well in the tournament. Nice. Five centuries. Of course, last night he equaled the high break of Mark Allen. Seventeen. Twenty-five. Thirty-one. Sense of urgency and care. But... That doesn't mean that... Well, maybe they were inspired by the... Neither player wanted to give so much as a centimetre. Shot the judge. Thirty-one. 
feels like five each rather than nil nil. If you're already playing it. No. I'm trying to catch the jaws of the pocket. Mm. And what? It was one of those situations that wasn't it? Big because of the lead, guys. To win this first frame, not easy. But where the green is. Seven. From the stage where Sullivan requires snookers. But that is not in. Chitrum, ten. Cross double. Mm, not close, need some help. Mm, that's a loose one. Has he got the cover? One. Well, that's a great pot. Eating. So that's the reason why. He's tucked in there. There Fitch is logic one. to that because they say guaranteed. Concern she'd be able to nestle the red towards the left cushion, but what it is going to do is give Ronnie the upper hand. Just got a piece of it. Little close for comfort. Sort of almost feels like a final. This has got to bounce. So he's going to be on the pink. It's amazing how. Well, the last time and Sullivan beat him, it was in that tour championship. Glenn did note. And, and, and behind the brown, that's why he played that shot. Some more ticker tapers. Descending dangerous, he's prepared to get involved in all this. Even if his best game hasn't been there the whole week, you know, he will dig in when he has to.
two. Oh, how nicely did he play that, but not a problem. But getting the pot five as well as position here is high tariff. One of the hardest Daniel shots Sullivan. that a professional's Five. Four. <laughs> you never have a Ronnie O'Sullivan the same. Good Trump four. Sullivan needs two snookers. Cue ball's going close. It's going in. Four. The absorbing start. Five. Eleven. So a 34 minute opening 18. frame goes to Judd Trump. The first semi final Good. underway here in Milton Keynes. Judd Trump against Ronnie O'Sullivan, and it's Trump. Leading, 1-0. Five. Oh, it's a massive kick. Massive kick. Nine. Oh, look at this, holding the rest in the air. Wow. <laughs> Is he on the red? Yeah, that shot with the rest, it looks pretty trick, doesn't it? But all players Sorry, do Mr. that. Sullivan. You know, find a, a thing. That... No doubt, the kick was a significant moment in that visit. Such a good opening red. I was already thinking maximum. Across the left. That's the thing about this game, it's the beauty of it at this level. This is the level, obviously. And you're trying to bring the red back across towards the others there. It's not just the cue ball, in fact, Sometimes it almost feels like playing it because he can get it thinner. See? That's the important side of it because of the quality of the man that's coming out of the other chair. Once again, no figure of eight, just playing it thin. Of course, he won the big one at the end of last season. Been in a couple of finals, lost to Selby last weekend, of course Trump a couple of weeks before that. This time, only turned to have not not a piece of luck, but what a piece of early in a frame. What? Yeah, I mean, he wasn't oh, yeah, ideal so on it. I just felt there was a pressure. One. It might be, for example, if Trump is in an air of tension in the room here already. So, but also partly because Ronnie generally is cue balls immaculate. Seven. Yes, and also been practicing that much, although he has been here. But Trump has just played. Fifteen. 
30. Forty-six. <clears throat> Double. Fifty-four. Try and get the two reds down the other end. Try and move one of those. Not this time. So 59 from Trump 59. to Labour, 42. 59 on. It's just whether if Ronnie tries to get them into the open one by one, they can keep not dissimilar to this. Kind of fancy him for this one, yeah. One. Good shot, lost the cue ball a tad. Eight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. Ronnie O'Sullivan, one. And there's the red. Frying ball. So again, get in and clear up. Your Two snookers required. Seven. We'll never know, of course, but completely uh, messed things up. Potted the black with the rest, but didn't get on a red. Just Fun. went past it. So there's one of them. Sure, he's not liable to get the red away from a cushion. He's trying his best he can to keep it out in the middle of the table because he would have felt he's almost guaranteed to get the cover, so he's played it nice. He's almost guaranteed to get contact. I think that uh, Sullivan, who was in control of the table, slightly lost it, although he almost got one back himself. Still needs one. This isn't certain. Foul. 
Ronnie O'Sullivan. Is it a free ball? ball? Looks like free it. Free ball. playing it this way, that's the question. Foul. And a miss. Another Ronnie free O'Sullivan ball. Five. Free ball. Get something safe. And he has. Bonus. The trouble continues. Good passage of play this by O'Sullivan, isn't it? Yes, there was a time. Ed Judd's next shot could be evil. Mm, not got it, needs cover badly. And get that yellow and blue up there. It's almost one of them, it'd be a shame for it to. Foul. Well, that's ended all of that. Good trump for. So, one. it looks like Trump's frame after all. Just make sure here, it's three snookers needed. Seems a long time since Trump made that 59 break to get the lead in the frame. Ten. Thirty. Seven. So no fireworks yet, but plenty of those Both frames have been won by Judd Trump. 22. Be relieved. Has Sullivan got the two snookers he needed? Good, 22. And the front. But knocking that yellow in ultimately was a, a key moment, and it's Judd Trump. First of all, though, he's got to put himself in the final of this one, and uh, not the best start. His highest break so far, just 24. Two. I did wonder this season, you know, how the dynamic between them would change because Crucible Crown to O'Sullivan suddenly the limelight to rather stolen back again by Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well, not good from Trump's perspective. One. No, I think you can't well, say. No, One. Quite nice where that pink is. That'll keep. Okay, you can go top side of blue and into the reds. You probably will, but get a couple into the open if you can. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, uh, probably going to leave it now. Shit. Just build it from here in the sort of tra traditional way. Tail end of those first couple of frames, he's, he's shown me things all the time. 60. Of his improved, different, and what I mean by that is... 
all the different minds and different assets in the mind and the way you think about the game. He remembers them all. So they'll come in handy. It might not be next match or next week or next month, but at some point in the future... some point it guaranteed it will do 30 yeah no thirty six red does go to the other far corner doesn't it the yellow pocket Judge from 36. It's another one of these missable shots. He's not missed it though, he's all... Got a piece of them. Oh, that'll do. That'll do, lovely. I'm running. Needs to find something, a little bit of it. Oh, he's got a big bounce there. That is a huge bounce. Eight. Oh, it's an unbelievable shot. That is a stunner. He deserves that. 40. To get over the disappointment of the big bounce. That was 50. world class. That one shot. Boy, oh boy. 22. He's on 28. 29. That's classy as well. That was class to finish top side of the pink. Brilliant. It all happened so quickly, yes, but the thinking and the, the term. 36. <laughs> He's trying to get low of straight to bring the other red in. Draw back pink, just low of straight. Mm, gone the other way. Mm, this is not easy. 43. Oh my word, what a shot. What a shot. 8. Winter strike just hung in the jaws. 11. But he's left it. He probably loses the frame now. 15. Yeah, it took a lot of checking that did. I'm not sure what he was looking at. He was six in front, he's potted the pink. So Sullivan just failed to pop that last red. And it's Judd Trump. Halfway to victory here. He leads 3 0. Big frame that. Last frame then before the interval. Already feels like a must win frame for Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's had a few chances. He's had one in that last frame, just missed the last red. Oh, wow. Eight. He's able to create things that other players simply can't do. He is because he's able to 14. get the cue ball and spot fancy the, the just off straight red. Within about a minute, it's a frame winning chance. Black going on the pink spot. That's why you can 22. never ever be blasé about anything you they do it time and again, and here's another example of... 30. Just been an unbelievable two and a bit year, three for around about a year in a ranking event.
And to say Let's the floodgates it. opened would be understating it a little bit. I think one of the key victories, though, was definitely the Masters final, because he outplayed himself a few months later, won the World Championship. 44. You see, even there, look at it. You see, the best shots in this game don't 50. look anything. Even that means the drop on and off the cushion here, he's guaranteed another good angle on the next. And once 60. again. Just a little swish of the cue and a flick of the wrist and. Mmm. Now then. Jetro, 65. Oh, this is a big chance. Is he going to do it? He's done it a million times before. And this would shake the Nine. Marshall Arena up. Trump's super confident going to the interval. Chance to really dent that confidence here. Seventy. Just watching his demeanour around the table. We look for clues we're on. Sometimes when he walks around the 25. table, he has a look around at the crowd too. Thirty-three. Back in its own spot. Brilliant thinking. Forty-one. Eight. Oh, he's played that fantastic. You've got to think. Forty-six. That blue to pink is going to be absolutely key. Just thinking, actually, because he can play it left-handed, so he gets nice on the forty-nine. The blue, and play the pink left-handed. We'll see. Fifty-three. That's what he's got. You know, deciding to come round. 58. With a touch of right. Great effort. Brilliant shot. Once 64. again, world class that. Well, this. Fr what a clearance. What a clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. It looked for all the world like 4 0. Look at that pink. Look at the action on the cue ball. He sinks the black as well. And Ronnie O'Sullivan wins are very very important he would have been content maybe not the way it was arrived at though no there's that nagging doubt though isn't there like you say that it should have been four nil but just looking at a score line of three one against anybody i guess that's one judge trump one very rare. We've got one tonight, though. Selby and Vafai kept them waiting. that uh, his opponent Judd Trump pots at long range and that is not one of his best that's very wayward and he's given a great chance I don't know whether he reason to say that he hit it very hard what nine Sixteen. 
Yeah, some of the early 20. attacking open style beginning of this session. Balls yeah. in. 32 40 48 no played it well you're right there. 56. What a stormer. What... And our 4 1 is back in again. Oh, this is where he is. Such a terrific. Now the man he's playing is more of a 64. perfectionist. His cue ball control is incredible. Lots of fantastic balls. We've got this blend now of aggression and worst. He knows when to do a few shots. 72. And now he's just a winner. His match against Martin Gould last night was on table two. We only saw a snatch of it. The one more noteworthy for me, he made one phenomenal to clinch it. Involved Eight so many six. pressure pots, and he's equal to the task time and time. Ninety-four. Pity about the positional side of it, but not even trying. Job done. Frame over. Judge from 100. How many times do you see a play? 100. I think anyone would have to agree that it's bizarre and very unusual. means he needs 17 snookers one he's not really been doing that this week very much as he playing I thought it was in relation to perhaps you know at those events Eight. when you turn up there on a you know, well I mean it's uh, 11 it's busy it's busy with practicing at the end of frames it's just because it's almost a silent protest 50 you can't get near a practice hardly anybody here now Anyway, might have just given him in stroke for the next frame. He hasn't detained us too long with this, has he? 26. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 33. O'Sullivan Three. clears Judd the table, but it's Judd Trump who gets the plaudits. Fantastic century. 4-1 ahead. And if O'Sullivan is going to lift that trophy and... One. Oh, what a good shot. That is not easy. And this is pretty well directed as well. Five. Thirteen. This is the point, isn't it? I mean, it's comp and that's worked out well. Not quite well, anyway. It's not perfect because the and 
Mm. 21. Well, I like the way he's played it, but he's actually got hold of it too much. I don't think he's on the red. There's more disappointment, but he Jensen, ends up playing 26. the right shot. He didn't try and rescue the break. Another immaculate safety shot. And he's trying to throw a very, very thin edge. Wow, that's very difficult to hit it that thin. He's done all kinds of damage here. Of that pocket cost him a century break in the previous frame. You would think what? his latest misjudgment. Nine. It's a goal. He's getting on to his colour here. The black, of course, got an option. Doesn't go to that right corner. 17. Won't be too... And he looks like he might breeze the couple of frames from 3-1. He's in command in this frame as well. Yeah. He will be cleaned. Thirty-one. Thirty-seven. It's impressive stuff. He's he just brushed away the disappointment of. Forty-four. Set in terms of centuries, he'll want to make another. And after that, sixty. Neil, regardless of what happens tonight, it's been one of years put together by Judd Trump. When you think he went all that time in, I mean, won the European Masters, 27 Northern Irish Open, which he seems to own now that tournament, won it three years in a row, beating the man he's playing tonight every year by the same scoreline. 80. So the floodgates have opened, clearly for the better. 82. And let's be honest, we've, you know, it took us a while, but all the... 85. The world's 89. best player. If you could really argue with that. But Chad Trump is just 94. amassing. 100. And kudos. This Trump is I'm not Frank. asking for a Definitely. recount. He's quite happy, thank you, because he leads by five frames to one. That would be a stretch. And there it is behind the green, that's the one. Strangely, it's not really troubled Judd Trump all that much. It's quite interesting, people have been saying that playing all these tournaments at this same venue for the last continent to another. We're not making various journeys. There's that Reddy's flute. One. And to China and coming back. There's not that kind of exhaustion. Right? Only playing to get cover the over the top of the brown rather than in behind it.
Foul. No miss. Sometimes even the... did last time. Well, it doesn't matter. He's missed the blue, but he's... while restricting O'Sullivan to just a single frame. As we look on the right side, it's somewhere behind the green, that side of the table, cutting off the left side. That's pretty good again. You see these shots right up there now. To be honest, his safety has played a big part in these couple of frames we've seen. He's forced mistakes from O'Sullivan. Now then. Not by overhitting it either. Well, the harder you hit those shots, the more the top spin stops them going anywhere. Again, that's... Seven. Taking this red, it clears the black. It's now available to both pockets, and this 50. is now a wonderful chance to close this match out. Twenty-three. Thirty-one. Thirty-nine. He's made back-to-back -back centuries in the two frames. Forty-seven. But he's almost... On three previous occasions, as Judge Trump... Fifty-four. Well, this... You'd have to say their man. Sixty one. Is a now what's the game on at next the next level? First example of that was the dominance 69. of Steve Davis. Well that will Judd annoy Judd Trump he won. Behind 51 on, so still two snookers required. Seven. Fifteen. Uh, they've just got a glimmer now, and it is only a glimmer. If you could lay a good snooker behind the pink and get the red by, might just spring back to life. He's got to play virtually the perfect shot here. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 22. Not bad. He's blocked off the right side of the table. Uses his loaf on this shot, plays it at a slowish pace. But of course, he could hit the red anyway, and that becomes an irrelevance. Very comprehensive victory, this. What? I think it's been on the cards, not because he had been a far superior player, but on the, the current form the two players are in. You now he can threaten anybody and maybe win another world title. Fine. Equal Stephen Hendry's record, but right against Mark Selby.
tonight is about this man. Eight. Indeed, Neil. The season. Thank you, Judd Trump, eight, He's walking eight, off, Ronnie O'Sullivan. The match is over. And Judd Trump...